Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to more Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. In the last episode, we defeated Professor Oak, the third member of the Elite Four. And in this episode, we're going to be taking on the final members. So, first thing I gotta do is heal up and, uh, well, I actually better check to see if I need to heal up. And I do need to heal up quite a bit. So yeah, we're gonna do that first. And then we will head on to the next member. I actually only need to heal up a little bit. Not a lot, just, uh, two Hyper Potions. That's not too bad. And there we go. So, we should be all healed up right about now. And what we're going to do is take on the, the last member of the Elite Four. So, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I mean, last time we got sprung with the Mewtwo, and I, like, I, I don't know what to expect. This guy could have an Arceus, which wouldn't even be possible, but I wouldn't even put it past this game for him to have it. So, or her, it could be anybody. So, yeah, let's just head in and see what is going on in this room. So, the final member of the Elite Four, then we have to take on the champion. Let's just see who the final member is. Let's see who it is. It is... That, that's Giovanni. Wait, this doesn't make sense. Because the police were saying that the Elite Four was like the last... Their last hope. But Giovanni's the leader of Team Rocket. And Giovanni is the fourth member of the Elite Four. Whatever. Um, so, Stu, are you surprised to see me here? The secret is out. I'm the head of the Elite Four. If you plan on being my successor, you must be able to beat me. Well, I guess that does make sense. It makes sense why he's here, but... Uh, the police were saying that it's their last hope. Uh, doesn't make sense. So anyway, he's only off the right on level 89. Wow. That is not a good matchup for me at all. So what I'm going to do is switch out into Corsage or Wild Plume. I don't think I've actually used Wild Plume in the Elite Four yet. So I'm going to go to Corsage. As he goes for a takedown, that'll do some decent damage because it is a very powerful move. And Rhydon is pretty powerful. And we're going to hit this thing with a Petal Lance. Should take it out in one hit. And I have no real uh, worries about it. I think I will take it out with one hit. It is quite effective. And right on, while a powerful Pokemon does not have the best special. So there we go. Down goes that. And we defeated his first Pokemon. His next Pokemon is going to be a Dugtrio. So I could stay in. I don't think I'll have speed. And this thing will probably hit me with an Earthquake. So I'm going to switch out into Ollie. Knowing that with uh, this Polyrath, I can take an Earthquake. Dugtrio is on level 90. That's insane. But uh, we're going to go for a Surf. Running out of Surfs too. So that sort of sucks. And this will probably get a critical hit because Dugtrio, like uh, Persian, is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. So, that didn't get a critical hit to my surprise. It didn't do that much damage either. But if he does get a crit, I wouldn't be surprised if I got taken out by it. Surf should take this thing out. It does have terrible special and doesn't have a lot of HP. So, there we go. Down goes that. And that is his next... Well, that's us up to level 71. His next Pokemon is going to be a Kangaskhan. So, I don't really have a uh, Pokemon for a Kangaskhan. I think I'll just go with my uh, Persian and just start hitting it with slashes I guess no other thing I really can do this thing's on level 91 and yeah per, uh, Kangaskhan is a uh, freaking powerhouse of a Pokemon so I am pretty worried look that's a critical hit that did absolutely nothing uh, Kangaskhan's really bulky got some great defenses and look at that wow that's not even a crit that is just outright straight power from Kangaskhan so he's gonna go for a dizzy punch which will probably take me out from that range of HP and yeah, there goes the Meow Wow, and, but I have it down a decent chunk of HP to where I can probably finish it off with my, uh, I think I'll go with Charizard, because I think I can hit it with a Flamethrower, and probably take it out from there. So, we'll go for Flamethrower, and we have Speed, which is awesome, I don't know if we'll take it out though. Yes, we do, alright, sweet. So, down goes Kangaskhan, that thing was definitely a threat, so it's good to get it out of the way. Nidoqueen is his next Pokemon, so again, I can just go to my, uh, Polyrath. And go for a Surf, and even if I do get taken out by this Needle Queen, I can go to my uh, Dragonite. And this thing has Scratch on level 92, okay. Wow, critical hit. Uh, probably shouldn't have laughed about that, but uh, I do have my Dragonite with Ice Beam, so I'm not worried about this Needle Queen. And uh, Surf is going to be a 2 with KO, it appears, and I just have like... Oh, wow, he's withdrawing to send out his Needle King. Pokemon with the same type, and this thing's on level 93, wow. So he goes out to a Pokemon of the same type to take a move that is still going to be super effective. And uh, it actually did more to his Nido King than it did to his Nido Queen. But Thrash is definitely going to take me out from there, I think. So yeah, we are going to faint. Oh, wow, Ollie. I apologize to you, good sir. Good Polyrath. You took that pretty well. So, sir, should take that thing out. And it does. And yeah, his last Pokemon, as we already saw, is his Nido Queen, which you've done half, uh, half damage to. So what I'm going to do is just go to Aragon and finish this thing off with an Ice Beam. And we should, well, probably two Ice Beams, because Nino Queen does have decent special. So we'll go for a uh, Ice Beam and see how much it does. Hopefully it'll do a lot. And hopefully finish off. We'll see. Yes, it does. So, 
There we go, that is the final member of the Elite Four defeated. Giovanni has been conquered, and we are ready for the champion. Simply amazing. You beat me. So, Don Giovanni has been defeated. I don't even think his name is Don, but... Um, both you and Taylor have proven that you are both capable of being my successor. You see, she has also beaten me in the Elite Four. Go on to the next room for the final face-off. Winner becomes the leader of Team Rocket. So, now that we've defeated Giovanni, we have one more challenge ahead of us, and that is against Taylor. Why do I use Revive? I have max revives, but whatever, it doesn't matter, but it's sort of stupid. But anyway, Taylor is our last challenge, and we are going to be taking her on in the next episode. Ollie is kind of useless, unless I have ethers. Hopefully I do. Let me just check. Uh, I don't see any here, but yeah, I have no ethers. That's great. So, uh, I have no surfs left, which sucks. I won't be able to do much with my Polyrath there, so I'm gonna have to try, hope that he doesn't have anything. Uh, I hope he doesn't have a fire type, because I don't really have anything for a fire type after that. And with all that said and done, I'm gonna wrap it up here. As I said already, the last in the next episode, and I believe the last episode, we are gonna be taking on Taylor. So I would like to thank you guys for watching. I would say I'd like to see you guys for more shortly enough, which I would like to see for more shortly enough. But first, I'd like to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. So catch you then.